Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to locally install this very popular software at the moment, Deep Live Cam. Let me play this video to show you what is happening here. So you see, on the left hand side, we have this image selected. On the right hand side, webcam video which is streaming live is replacing the person's face with the face you selected on the left. You can not only do it in live webcam, but also you can do it uh, statically. You can just replace the face in any video with the help of this software. And this is what we are going to do in this video. We will be first installing it locally on our Windows system and then we will, we will be playing around with it. You can use and install this software on Windows and on Mac OS at the moment. Now, before I show you the installation, one word of caution. Yes, this is a real-time face swap and one click video deep fake with only a single image, but this is only for educational purposes and just a productive contribution to the rapidly growing AI generated media industry. As per the creator of this repo, this software is going to help artists with tasks such as animating a custom character or using the characters as a model for clothing, etc. Okay, so that out of the way, before you get it installed, there are few prerequisites which you need to meet. And those prerequisites are that you should have Python 3.10 installed on your system, you should have pip installed, git, ffmpeg, and visual studio 2022 runtimes on your windows system I mean. And I will show you how to do that. To make things easier, I would highly recommend you to install Chocolaty on your windows system which is a package manager makes things very easier. In order to install Chocolaty, go to your left, just type PowerShell here, right click and then run as administrator. I think I already have two windows open so I'm just going to close this one. Now, in order to install Chocolaty, just type this command and don't worry about it, I'm going to put all of the commands I'm using in my blog and I will drop the link in the video's description. So what this command is doing, it is installing Chocolaty on your local Windows system. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to say choco-v, so this is my Chocolaty version at the moment. Now next thing we need to install is Python 3.10. In order to do that, simply run this command, choco install python dash dash version is equal to 3.10.0. Again, I already have it installed, so I'm just going to show you Python version. So you can see that my Python version is installed. Second, uh, third thing which we need to install is Git. You simply do choco install git and it is going to install git on your system. I already have it, so I'm just going to say git dash dash version. Next up, what you need to install is FFM peg library. Just type choco install ffmpeg. I already have it, so I'm just going to say ffmpeg version, and this is my ffmpeg version at the moment, so I don't need to install it. So let me clear the screen here. Now, if you don't know what ffmpeg is, ffmpeg is simply a multimedia tool which enables you to handle audio video format and then you can record, save, stream it, the video audio with it. Okay, so we already have all of these installed and now you know how to get them installed, so make sure you do it. Once you have done it, we would also need Microsoft C++ build tool or tools, so for that, go to this link, simply download from here and then click on XZ and next, 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 you should be able to install it fairly quickly. So if I just go to my system and I see Visual Studio or just install Visual Studio, you should be good. You see, I have this Visual Studio build tools 2022 install. This is what we need, and this is the version uh, we would be needing. So make sure you have it installed from this link. 
Another thing is that you can use it on CPU, but it will be a bit slow, not bit quite slow. So if you have GPU, I would highly suggest you go with GPU. For GPU, you can install CUDA Toolkit from NVIDIA's website. So go to this link and I will drop all the links in the description. From there, click on Windows and then download the XE, this architecture and then whatever your Windows version is, mine is this server 2022 and I'm just going to go XE local and then just download this XE and then run it next next and it is going to install the CUDA toolkit which is Nvidia's library to handle and accelerate GPU on your local system. I already have it and the way of checking it is simply running Nvidia-SMI and you can see that I have the latest version of CUDA installed. Okay, so let me clear the screen. So these are all the prerequisites which you need in order to get this thing installed. So once you meet all the prerequisites, next step is to git clone the repo of this deep life camp. Simply run git clone and then this URL and again I'll drop the link in video's description. Press enter, it is going to clone it on your local system, let's wait. And the repo is cloned on our local system. Next step, we would need to go to this Hugging Face website where this deep life cam repo is. From here you see, we need to download two models. One is this GFP GNV version 1.4 and the other one is this INS Swapper. So first up, let's click here. Click on uh, or right click on download, save link as and then wherever you have cloned that repo, I believe I did this in C and then users, administrators and here uh, there was this deep life cam, this one, go into the models and then save it. Let's wait for it to save. So first file is saved, again click on these files and versions. Go to this last one, fp16.onnx, right click on download and then save the link in the same directory in the models in deep live cam repo. Click save and let's wait for it to get downloaded. And you can see that now both models are present locally on my system in the models directory. Okay, that is good. Let's go back to our PowerShell screen. Now, here we need to install all the requirements within this repo. So simply run pip install dash r requirements.txt. Okay, so it is asking us that I just need to reinstall that. So let me install the pip. Okay, I just checked my pip is fine. I think I just made. I didn't cd into that directory, so I should be into this directory. Let me clear the screen. And now let me install the requirement. This should work now. There you go. Let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a bit of a time. All the installation is done. Now if you are using CPU, your installation is done and all you need to do is to run this command python run.py from this root of repo and you should be able to use the software. But as I'm using a GPU, so I'm going to install a couple more prerequisites. So I'm just going to remove this and then install these ORNX, just capital Y, and that is all done. Let me clear the screen. Sorry, I just needed to install this one. Hang on. It shouldn't take too long, it's quite lightweight. That is done. Now let me clear the screen. Now in order to run the application, all I need to do, all you need to do is run this Python run.py execution provider, provider CUDA which is for GPU. So let me run it. And first time, it will open up like this. And you see that it's very simple, nothing fancy there. From the left hand side, you need to select a face. And then from the target, you could either um, use a video or if you want to do the deep live cam you can simply click on live here and it is going to use it and you can start it 
and then from my local system I have just selected on the left hand side the image of Einstein and on the right hand side I just recorded my own video which I have given it as a target so that it could replace this my uh, face with Einstein's face so let me make it a bit bigger and then see we'll see how it works I'm just going to click on the start here and then it is asking me where to save the output so I think I'll just go with this one let's save it let's wait for it and it is going to take a fair bit of time as you can see on in the bottom of the screen it is showing you the progress like extracting the frame and now progressing so let's wait for it it is uh, it takes a bit of and you can see that now it is creating video with some 30 frames per second. And then it says processing to video succeeded. And now let me show you the output video. So this is the output video which it has created. Uh, so how about if I first play my original video. So let me play this original video. So this is my original video. Let me close it. Let me play the output video now. Sure, so this is Einstein. This, can you believe that? It, is it, isn't it a magic really? Oh my god, even the teeth are Einstein's. <laughs> oh my goodness, so this is crazy. Let me, let me play my uh, video again. There you go, so this is me. And I replaced it with Einstein's face. There you go. This is oh my goodness, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, now, because this is a VM I'm using, I'm not sure if my live webcam cam is uh, enabled. Let me click on live, but it should work. So, if you have it on your system, so I'm just clicking on uh, live here. Because my, I don't have my webcam attached to it, so it won't work here, but all you need to do is just click on live and it'll, it will start working here. Cool. Now for another, just for fun, let's select the Merlin Monroe's photo. Let's for target and just drop down video and then let me select my own and then let's click on start. Maybe before that I'll just rename this one I'll just call it output one so that it creates a new one let's click on start yep let's say output here and then let's wait for it to finish and if you want to close this uh, either press on top right on this X or just click on destroy okay so let's wait for it to create it and you can see that it has started extracting these frames and another bit is that if you remember I told you that if you are using GPU uh, you can install CUDA 11.8 but you saw that my CUDA is uh, the latest one that well so you can go either one of them but should it be less than 11.8 okay, let's wait for it to finish and I'll show you the video then and the video is succeeded let's go and check it out I also haven't checked it so let's check it together Let's click on output. <laughs> okay. Oh god, okay. Very interesting. Yeah. So of course it's not an exact replica, but still you can simply swap your face. Just for fun and giggles. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to say it output 2 here, just for future reference. But there are a few other things which you can check out. You can just keep all of these, but you can enhance your face if you want. NSFW is uh, like not safe for work if that's an for adult stuff. And then you can even go with many faces if you like. Uh, let's check out many faces. I have also switched on this one, so I'm just going to go with maybe. Okay, let's go with Merlin. Uh, Monroe. Maybe. Uh, let's try another face. So in this next example, I have just selected the face of a uh, tiger. It says no face in source path detected. You see, so I just selected animal and it's not accepting animals. So it is only humans it seems. Okay, let me try out human face. Okay, so 
Okay, so I'm just going to go with this a Bollywood Indian actor Shah Rukh Khan. This is just for educational purposes, so don't meet me for that. Let's see what happens here. Let's wait. Now it is extracting the frames. Okay, processing to video succeeded. Let's check out the video here. Just going to open it. The output. There you go. Oh wow! How good is that? I always wanted to be Shah Rukh Khan. This is actually quite good, isn't it? Amazing stuff. So really good stuff here, guys. I think um, amazing project. Please use it for educational purposes. Not really go crazy. And I will drop the link to it in the video description. As I said, I'm going to put all the commands which I have used in my blog, and I will drop the link in video description. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do me a favor and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please, please share it on your network. Send um, the video or the channel and emails to your friends. Share it on social media as, of course, you're looking to grow the uh, channel with the subscribers. So every help, highly, highly appreciated. Thanks for watching.